In the open position, they have to ensure isolation across the switching distance, between phases, and to ground. In the closed position, they have to allow the energy to flow with minimum losses. They need to be able to reliably interrupt short circuit currents without damaging themselves or adjacent equipment, even after long idling times. Different circuit breaker technologies are in use, depending on voltage level, application, and the age of their design. Current interruption takes place in interrupter chambers containing air, oil, SF6, or a vacuum. Circuit breakers may use multiple contact systems consisting of main contacts and arcing contacts. The main contacts allow operating current to flow with minimal losses, while arcing contacts can break short circuit currents with minimal arcing erosion. Environmental stresses, such as temperature, humidity, or contamination, affect the bearing and linkage surfaces of the drive. Ancillary components, such as bushings, are also subject to electrical stress aging. Differences between individual contacts and individual phases must fall within defined limits. Comparing these results to factory data or earlier measurements can reveal trends. Recording trip and close coil currents gives an indication of their mechanical and electrical condition, as well as the condition of the latch. The minimum voltage, known as minimum pickup, needed to trip and close the circuit breaker is also usually measured to ensure that it can still operate in case the DC supply is weak. If the breaker is equipped with a multiple contact system, measuring the dynamic resistance during opening and closing will indicate the wear of the arcing contact. Velocity, total travel, acceleration, over travel, and rebound. 